first tonight. Hazmat crews from all across our area responded to a chemical leak this afternoon in Rock Island. The chemical was so strong that it was burning through the concrete there. News 8's Christy Mergenthal has the latest. It was just before 1 o'clock Thursday afternoon when hazmat crews were called to the Rock Island Water Treatment Plant for a chemical spill coming from this tanker truck. It's a corrosive agent that the water treatment plant uses, and there was an overflow that caused spillage out, uh, out from the building onto this driveway behind me. As plant employees evacuated, crews began suiting up, working quickly to stop the leak that had begun eating through concrete. And they uh, uh, stopped the leak using some earthen berms. Uh, with dirt, sand, and some uh, commercial boom equipment and uh, had it uh, contained uh, pretty much to this facility within a short amount of time. The chemical hydrofluorosicilic acid is used to add fluoride to the plant's water. Although it poses a burn risk to skin, those living nearby were in no immediate danger. There's no inhalation hazard at all. So there was no need for us to evacuate any uh, residents around the area. After several hours, crews were able to clean up the leak, allowing operations to return to normal. They had to cordon off the area, obviously, but as far as uh, the treatment of the water and the, the amount of water uh, you know, being used by the public, there's no effect on that at all. In Rock Island, Christy Margaret WQAD Quad Cities, News 8. Thank you, Christy. Investigators tonight still haven't given an official estimate on just how much of that chemical spilled out for a chemical spill coming from this tanker truck. Hydrofluorosilicic acid is an extremely dangerous and deadly chemical that's used in Austin. There was no mention, uh, for example, of the material safety data sheets of how dangerous this chemical is. Uh, number two is the fact that hydrofluorosilicic Solistic acid is also one of the most dangerous chemicals transported in Austin if there were to be a serious accident and a breaching of the container uh, on the highway or the city streets. And a lot of people don't know the hazards associated with a spill and a breaching of one of these tankers that goes right through the city of Austin and to the treatment plants.